Hello and welcome to London, England for round five of the Red Bull Air Race World Series 2008. Nick Fellows and former Air Race pilot Frank Verstegg bringing you our first story and is the story of training run two. You can see for yourselves how blustery the wind conditions are. Combine that with a very difficult track and we have a lot of drama in training run two, Frank. Yeah, absolutely. And I must say there's not a lot of difference between 2007 when I raced this track myself. And I can tell you, I called this first practice my most dangerous flight ever and as the results are not official I have to explain you why it was because of the majority of the pilots made mistakes we even had the records and we had so many pilot touches that it took too much time and the last two pilots could not fly here it is dangerous uh, track and it's not only the wind but it's mainly the turbulence making the pilots uh, go up and down like windshield wipers and that makes the airplane sometimes react like riding on a rodeo not horse but Bull. Well, very testing conditions and a very difficult track here in London. But once again, even though the results are unofficial, the fastest man out there is Paul Bonham. He's taken 35 from a possible 36 points so far this season. Frank, this is the one he really wants to win. But of course, the other pilots know they can't let him get too far ahead. He has a six point advantage. Yeah, absolutely. He is at home. He is desperate to win. And uh, there's a fair chance he will win. But we must not forget that the gap between the top three pilots and the guys on the bottom is getting bigger and bigger. Because of the head-to-head the, the -head races every now and then, the guys on the bottom simply don't get enough stick time. So you'll see they will get slower and slower. So Bonham unofficially the fastest in training, but another British pilot that looked impressive was Nigel Lamb, third position for the British ace and somebody that you've been watching very carefully this season, Frank. Well, it was very good to see that uh, Nigel finally got hold of his uh, airplane. The uh, aileron problems are solved, airplane uh, hands, uh, handles well now, and I must say it was uh, very good to see Nigel perform extremely well during uh, this training run. Now, I told uh, Frank in Rotterdam that my dream was to see a British 1-2-3 here in London. So will around about 60,000 British flying fans as well. Now, let's talk a little bit about Steve Jones. He picked up that three-second penalty, but his net sector times were one of the far fastest out there. Yeah, for sure. It uh, is a track which favours uh, Steve Jones and he has a, a very fast airplane. So uh, let's see what's happened. But I must be honest, um, you can be fast as we saw in Rotterdam, uh, but sometimes you're a little bit too fast and you score penalty points. And that's all about air racing. Let's talk about Mike Mangold very briefly. He was the winner here last year. Mangold just under half a second off Paul Bonham. He's not going to let that title go without a fight, is he, Frank? Absolutely. He's back after Rotterdam and Paul uh, will have a tough contender. And as a matter of fact, he will have more contenders. But uh, it will be exciting here during uh, qualifying. I think it's fair to say the story of training two here in London is the difficulty of the conditions and the track. A record number of penalties on Red Bull Air Race World Series. 47 seconds worth of penalties for Alejandro McLean. He's a brilliant pilot. It's just an indication how tough it is. Yeah. And to give you an explanation about what actually is happening here, the pilots uh, suffer from a quite high tailwind when they enter the track. It's a very narrow approach here and they have to come from a, a hold in a steep turn to the track. That makes it extremely difficult to find the correct angle. And if the angle is not completely correct, like we saw with Mike Gullion, they screw up completely and it's raining penalty points. And to give you another explanation, the ailerons normally react uh, very uh, uh, correct and efficient. But if ailerons are snatching or the airflow is no longer attaching to the ailerons, it is rock and roll like on a rodeo bull, what I just said again. There you have it, the story of London rock and roll. And we mean on the tough side, not the dancing side. Let's take a look at the results, albeit unofficial from training two. So Paul Bonham right where he wants to be as part of his preparation. Mangold runner-up, Lamb, Jones and Ark making the top five. Then we see Bejene, Chambliss, Ivanov, McLean and Goulian. Unfortunately for Rachmanin and Glendale, no training for them. Our next report from London is the qualifying round. And Frank, I think it's fair to say it's not going to get any easier. In all years of air racing, there has not been one single event where the pilot had less training time than here in London. Only seven and a half minutes. So it will be very exciting during qualifying. See you at qualifying. Be there. From Nick Fellows and Frank for Stake in London, England, it's goodbye for now.